Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Chicken Buna Masala is one of my most loved recipes. It is the perfect blend of spices. But did you know that you can make this in a pressure cooker as well? Let's make this at home today. Let's get started. For marination, you will need 500 grams of curry cut chicken pieces, 2 tablespoons chicken masala, any of your choice, a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, half lemon juice and salt as per your taste. Combine all the ingredients mentioned with the chicken. Mix until well combined and set it aside for at least 30 minutes. For Buna Masala you will need 3 big onions and 2 tomatoes finely chopped, a tablespoon of kasuri methi, 2 tablespoon each of mint leaves and coriander, half bowl of whisked curd, powdered spices as mentioned in the description box, salt as per taste, a tablespoon of cumin, 3 green and dried red chilies, 2 bay leaves and a strand of curry leaves. Add 2 tablespoon of oil in a pressure cooker. Then together add in red and green chilies, cumin, curry leaves and bay leaves. Mix well as it continues to sputter. Then add in the chopped onion. The essence of buna masala lies in how well the onion is cooked. So make sure you leave this aside for 5 to 6 minutes on low flame. Then add in a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. As the onions begin to change in color, add in chopped tomatoes. And mix until the tomatoes turn mushy. Now add in the powdered spices, starting with 2 tablespoon of Kashmiri chilli powder, a tablespoon of turmeric powder, 2 tablespoon of coriander powder, a tablespoon of cumin powder and 2 tablespoon of garam masala powder. Give this a good mix then add salt as per your taste and let the masala cook for 2-3 to three minutes on low flame. Now add in the marinated chicken. Toss it well before you add in the whisk curd. Here I have finely chopped coriander and mint leaves and I am adding it together with kasuri methi. Now add in half cup of water and pressure cook this on high flame for one whistle and on low flame for two whistles. Let the pressure ooze out naturally. This will make the chicken more tender and well coated in the masala. Take it off flame. Garnish it with freshly chopped coriander. Serve this delicious chicken buna masala with parathas and naans of your choice and indulge. If you like this recipe, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.